It's been a while since I've talked about Siri shortcuts, but I have a few more shortcuts I would like to share. I'll put links to all the shortcuts and apps in the description below. First up is a brain dump. If you've read the book Getting Things Done, you'll recognize this term, but basically it's the idea of getting everything out of your head and into a task manager. How this shortcut works is it starts off with an ask for input action, and you type in what you want to add. Each new task must be its own line. Then it splits up the text by lines, and then we'll add each task individually to reminders using the repeat action. This is a great way of adding bulk tasks to reminders. You could easily swap this out for a different task manager if you like. I'll even put a Things 3 version in the description of the video. I talked before about how I like to add articles and blog posts to a project in my task manager for me to go back and read. I redid the shortcut a bit for reminder support, and now it's just one action. My project is called Read and Review, and it lives in Reminders. The task gets the title from the blog post title, and in the notes field is the URL. This makes a really clean way of saving stuff to read later. I know this isn't something that belongs in my task manager, but I like having it here. And since I'm using Reminders now as the back end for my task, I can have another shortcut that displays what my reading list is and pull it up. This will go through and get any tasks in my read review project and will then display them in a list with the title of the post. I can select something to read and it'll load straight into a Safari page with a reading view on. For whatever reason, I like this better than a traditional read it later service like Pocket. Maybe it's because I made this, but I'm just really proud of it. Speaking of things I made, this next shortcut is one I'm very proud of. It's my today summary shortcut. I made a video about one of these when shortcuts first came out, but this one is very different. This shortcut has no third-party dependencies whatsoever and is broken up into six different functions. The first function will get today's weather. It'll display the high and the low temperature. Then it'll check to see if it's going to rain. It'll show the percentage chance of how much it's going to rain if the percentage is greater than zero, and if so, how much it's going to rain. The second function will get any calendar event and display the title and what time it's supposed to be happening for that day. The third function will get all of today's tasks, overdue task, and any task that doesn't have a due date. When ran, there will be a show result action that displays all this information. I have some logic in this that's very specific to my setup, so you can change it to fit your needs however you want. The fourth function is a journaling function. This will bring up a page for you to handwrite some thoughts out on with an Apple Pencil or a stylus. This part will actually check to see what kind of device you're running the shortcut on, and if it's an iPhone, it'll skip this part altogether, since it doesn't have Apple Pencil support. Also, it'll check to see if the paper file is in the shortcuts folder. If it's not, it'll create a folder in iCloud Drive under the shortcuts folder and save a template page to it. After that, it won't download that template anymore. It'll just pull the template up out of that folder. This is also where it'll save finished journal entries as well, so you can go back and read them if you wish. The next two functions will look pretty familiar as well. They're the brain dump and pull from reading list. I usually have ideas after I journal, so I want to get them into my task manager as soon as possible, and brain dump is perfect for that. I also like to go through any articles in the morning that I haven't had time to read yet. The morning is pretty much the only time I do have time to go through this kind of stuff. The shortcut is completely self-contained, minus having to download the journal template once. I'm really proud of this shortcut, and I hope you guys check this one out. This is a shortcut I've mentioned before, but I fixed a really big bug in it, so I wanted to show it off again. This one is all about adding a new calendar event with natural language, but it'll show you what's going on in your day before you add anything. When you run it, the shortcut will ask for the date and will then show you any calendar appointments. If you don't have any calendar appointments for that day, it'll tell you that. You can tap on the today's calendar event to proceed. It will then ask for a title, date, and time. I type all this in using natural language and then have it sent to Fantastical. If you want to use natural language, you have to use Fantastical or you'll have to manually set the info with a calendar action. Either way will work, I just find natural language to be a little nicer. I like this because it helps me from double booking myself. Mode Manager is a way for me to control my house and devices. It starts off with a menu for different things I do, like writing, watching TV, or filming in the studio. When I select one of these things, it'll set my lights on devices and change the status of whatever device I need it to be. Typically, it's turning lights on and off, setting do not disturb, changing the volume, and it'll sometimes play music or podcast. I wish there was airplay actions and shortcuts because that could really expand this so I can include the HomePod in this as well. 
I like this because it allows me to quickly change modes and I can get right into whatever I need to do. This is the kind of thing that's hard to share because it's really specific to my setup, but I'll still put the shortcut in the description below so you can see the basic outline. The last shortcut started off as an experiment for me. Could I replace basic utility apps with shortcuts and make them work faster and better? So I made a clipboard manager. It's pretty simple. It'll make a text file in the shortcuts folder when it runs for the first time. You can select save to manager from the menu and then it'll prepend some plain text. Then you can use get text from the menu and it'll bring up a separate menu so you can select what text you wanna to add to your clipboard. Then you can go and paste that wherever you want. This is not an encrypted file, so I do not recommend saving any passwords or sensitive information to this. I use this for when I'm dealing with lots of different text snippets so I can move them around quickly. This is more of an experiment than anything else, but I still think it's a useful shortcut. These are a few handy shortcuts that I think that may help you. Let me know if you guys have any useful shortcuts that you guys are using down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.